Hi Bruce from Safari. You saw this LC79 before at night and now we're back in here adding a couple of things to it and this has the most number of antennas in uh, Australia I think. I think there's 11 up there and also just have a look at the lights we've got here, flashing lights because this is a working truck and it's Electrostar in uh, Tamworth and they use this for uh, rail support and other electrical work in the town. You can see we've got all the lights turned on here now. It's just incredible what we can do in here. But let's just have a look on this side. I've got both the amber and the white light on on the inside. So we can turn uh, one of those off and just go to white or go to amber. Um, I'm going to show you that on the tablet in a minute, but that's the setup that we're looking at inside here. And we've got a Scotty in here. We've got 600 amp hours of lithium. We've got a 5000 inverter. We've got power distribution, two solar controllers up there. And it's rather a small uh, uh, canopy box that you can see there. And so we had to get all this in and that's 90 mil out from the wall. And then we've got a board on the wall there, 16 uh, thick. So for those people looking at uh, canopies, I think we've got this marker here at 125 out from the wall. So we've got everything in from uh, about 125 out from the wall um, that you can see there. And now I'm gonna step through and show you some aspects of the uh, tablet that we've got. And the tablet, just to put that into perspective, is in the front of the vehicle here. And uh, it's good that it's at night, I'll come up to it. Most of you have seen this already. I can turn the radio off, that's the radio on, I should say, that's turning the flashing light off. That's turning off the um, lights in the rear and that's turning off the canopy light, uh, turning off the rack light uh, and now I've got all the lights off um, on the unit except for the inside canopy light. And we had a look at the antennas on the top and look at the radios he's got set up there. That's only three of them. I think there's another four to be added yet. And then in the, in the console here in the fridge or the freezer, we turned it down low, it's at minus seven. And then let's have a look behind the back here, the rear seat, which is where we've got all the radio comms in here. So uh, you can see that uh, we've got extra Wi-Fi antennas in here, but behind at the back, we've got two sulfide goes in here, one for data, one for voice. Most people don't realize that if you lock in on voice, it does nothing for your data at all. So we've got two of those in there and um, we've got a full power supply up the end up there. And this is all wired through uh, to the canopy and it's all coming off the 48 volt system through Scotty. I'm just gonna show you how we've got the lights on this and a couple of other little neat features on this. Um, and I guess the neatest feature we got on here is turning the radio on, uh, the radio icon up here. I love that. He's got courtesy lights here, which are on the side here called courtesy, those, those blue ones. And then we've got on the back here, the tray light, which you can see up there. Uh, we've got work lights on either side and then we've got here, the lights can also be pressed up here. So if this is in the front and George wants to activate it, he can just go and turn uh, the passenger side on, as you can see up here. Uh, don't worry about the flickering. And uh, so he can activate it up here and turn it off down here on the tablet. So here we are up here, we've got them dimmed. So I can now turn them off on here uh, or I can go up and turn them up there. So we've got the tablet out there now that can be taken over to the fire that can that can operate, I think from about 60 meters away. And uh, we can then operate on this side. We can go to the front page here and operate the flashing uh, light that you can see there. And that's his warning light that he's got flashing up there on the top. Uh, the setup that we've got on here is uniquely for him, and I can turn that off. I can turn the radios off now. And we can see now that while we're running all this, our DC out went up to a huge number of watts. There, we've got power pouring out from the 48 to the 12 volt. That just uh, sits in the front. So just watch this, that'll just click up. That'll just click up in the front there. George can operate everything uh, here on the console for a quick operation here, he's got these quick buttons up here to operate. And then in addition to that, he can open up his smartphone and operate everything from the smartphone. Now I've just gone to the front here because this LC79 is pulling 736 watts at the moment. I'm just gonna pass in the front here. He's, his light bar on the top there is just probably unbelievable. Uh, but you can see at the top up there, and then we've got the spots down here. 
and uh, the little root catcher down there so you can see this car is all set. I've got to say, how good's that?